Hi guys, hello, welcome or welcome back. Today is gonna be is gonna be kind of a <laughs> I'm hoping it's gonna be a fun reading because I wanna jump into your guys' love life. I wanna see what's going on. Um but I am not 100 percent sober, so <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's Friday. We're gonna be doing what? Freaky Friday. Okay, this will be a timeless reading, but just when I'm filming, it's Friday, and I'm just letting loose a little bit. So, if you don't like that, then you can just click off the video, and if you don't like um, cursing or foul language, then this is probably not the video for you also. <laughs> also, if you don't like people who are a little bit scatterbrained or you don't like readings where kind of get off track a little bit, then this is also not the reading for you because my mind goes everywhere. Spirit be pulling me everywhere and spirit be trying to pull me back in as well. But, ooh. Estoy guapa, lo sé. Fue la noche, mira, lo sé. Porque para ser la día cuando llego. Okay, wait, hold on. So you guys are like, you guys are in this energy right now where, okay, Becky G, guapa. You need to listen to it. Amazing song. But what she's saying in those lyrics is when she walks into the room, she's sunlight, bitch. Like, she is the light. And she knows she's pretty. Like, she's pretty, yeah, I know. Like, you're that bitch. You're that guy. You're that dude. You're that, like, you are that person right now. I want to know, how. what is your energy right now? What is the energy that the collective is in, Holy Spirit? Because I'm going to jump into your your person's energy, but I want to get, I want to see if this is the reading for you, okay? So let's see if this is for you. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. Just, ooh, okay. Here we go. First card. The goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. Okay. You have probably had a really rough time with relationships or just like love in general or finding like a healthy relationship. So if you are single right now, you are searching for that or not even searching. I think some of you are... Some of you might be in this state of you. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you are more in the attract. You are calling people, like in the song, right? Because when she walks into the room, she's the light. So people are drawn to you. Um, you're not looking for anyone right now. Um, okay, shit, let's go. You guys are like very independent. You guys have been through shit, so you're not going to settle for just, you know, someone just like trying to tell you what you want to hear, um, is not emotionally mature, is not, is the type of person that doesn't follow through with what they say, or is like competitive with you. No, you're not doing any of that stuff. You've been through situations before where you've had partners where you, where they are either like competitive. So say if you're like earning more than them, if you start to if you started losing weight or like things were starting to go up for you, it's like this person was getting mad about it or they were like not supportive of it. So you're leaving that behind or those are like some of your past relationships or people who would get, or like if you were with a partner who would get upset, like if you dressed nice or if people complimented you or made you feel bad that you were like, I don't know. It's like you've been through really hard times hard relationships you've not had good luck in the past with relationships this is what this is giving me with your energy um you really oh her chi chi's out sorry um oh wait there's a little sticker here let's put a little sticker a little hello kitty sticker there we go <laughs> um but there's something here where you guys are no longer tolerating what is not in your best interest and hell yeah you guys are like sunshine right here um maybe some of you are born in like the summer months or you like the summer a lot or yeah i don't know um let's see 
What else for the collective watching? Just some confirmation for the collective if this is their reading. Can I get a card, Holy Spirit, on their energy? What is their energy right now? Okay, that's too many. I just want one card, please. One card. One card, please. Okay, thank you. Temperance. Yeah, you guys have, you guys are patient with what you're waiting for, okay? Um, and it's not necessarily, again, it's not necessarily that you're waiting or like searching or like actively looking for someone right now. I think you want that. Um, it's almost like if it finds you and it's meant for you, you're going to know. That's kind of the energy I'm getting here because you're not... You're not about to invest in anyone who is not about to pour into your cup if you pour into theirs. You know what I mean? Like there has to be an equal give and take here. There has to be balance. And that's exactly right. So like this is this is like if you're with a partner who you who, if you want to have children, if you guys have children or something, you're not going to be with that partner and them not contribute, them not help out or if they come to you and be like, "Oh, how can I do this for you?" or "How can I like making the assumption that this is your job. No, this is a a partnership, okay? Like there's gonna be equal partnership here. It's not gonna be like, oh, this is like, these are your duties, these are my duties. Like, I don't know, this is like kind of a weird energy. I'm getting like you are no longer like about to settle for anything less than you deserve. That is the energy that you're giving me. You're no nonsense with this, like 100%. And so if this doesn't resonate, with you then I don't think this is your reading um, because this feels very heavy like you are not about to play games you are here for the real deal you're here for the communication you're here for the love you're here for like the vulnerability the honesty you're here for you know an actual like friendship an actual connection an actual soul tie connection from both ends um, that's what it feels like to me. That's the energy you're in. And you're not looking for anyone that's going to be coming and disrupting your peace. Look at the rainbow here in the back. Um, some of you may be um, LGBTQIA, LGBTQIA. I always love my LGBTQIA peeps. Hi. Um, what else? You could also work with archangels just because temperance is always kind of that card for me as well. Um, you may be being guided by your angels, your spirit guides. Um, for whatever it is that you're kind of focusing on right now because I feel like relationship like romantic relationship is kind of like not so much on the back burner but it's not your main focus like you clicking this video could be like a very like this is like a fun type of you're not taking this seriously like you might not even have you might just be listening to it while you're like doing the dishes or like, I don't know, like you're probably not like 100% invested fully in it, you know what I mean? I don't know, maybe that's just for some of you, but it's like, that's not your main goal here. Like romance is not your main goal here, but let's jump into more of this. What is the collective's love life gonna be looking like in the near future? What is the collective's love life for this reading going to be looking like, Holy Spirit, in the near future? What is going on with their love life in the near future? Can I have another card? Oh, thank you. Knight of Swords. You may be receiving some type of information about someone, okay, Holy Spirit, I do not want, I do not want this energy. I don't want no third parties. Cause it feels like maybe some of you have an ex that is in the picture, or maybe you've had, okay. For some of you, there is an ex in the picture who has made it difficult for you to move on. Maybe they consistently like send you messages or they have in the past. Like maybe it's not as active anymore. Or it doesn't happen as frequently. But maybe for some of you there has been instances where it's like you cannot get this person detached from you. It's like your detached game is strong. But this person is like they will not let you go. 
and it was like they just like kept consistently trying to like break your peace even here with the five of wands like competitiveness yeah like there was someone here who was like really competitive with you i don't know if it's like you had a glow up here or you had some type of like transformation maybe you got a new job maybe you lost weight maybe you um had some type of of like really big life situation happening like maybe you had a death in the family maybe you had like i don't know it's just something like very huge happen and it's almost like it kind of like moved you from one position to another position but like almost in a in a like you learn from something you grew from something but this person they saw you getting higher than them and did not instead of being a supportive partner instead of looking at you like wow look at how, how they're they're doing it's like almost like they got this competitive type of energy around them and was like trying to cause like strife dilemma I don't, arguments um would probably say like really quick quips towards you or like try to put i don't know i'm just getting like the image of like if someone's like going out Oh my gosh, I'm thinking right now of this TikTok I saw of this woman who was like crying on Mother's Day because her husband like completely like ruined her Mother's Day. It was like completely a, a conscious decision to put her down. She said that she's put a lot of time and effort into her outfit she was gorgeous, you know, and she put all this effort and they went out and it's like he just was like belittling her or like putting her outfit down, trying to make her feel bad. And like the waitress even told her like, you look gorgeous, you look beautiful. Oh my gosh, I, I don't think I saved that TikTok, but that's kind of like what this energy was giving me. So maybe that's why you kind of have this energy of like a little bit of your walls up when it comes to romantic love um, and you are like you're no nonsense you're not about to repeat cycles you're not about to repeat the same things over and over again and get yourself in the same situations you want something new you want something real you're not about to be um dealing with people who are in this competitive energy with you i think also what's going to be coming up is that there are people around you who i feel like you are someone who has options here with the five of wands it's like maybe the there are people who have their eye on you. I don't know if they have like, they feel like there's competition. How many people are around the collective? Let's do this one and then we'll do the sex magic tarot when we get into a little bit more naughty stuff. <laughs> So what is going on with the collective's love life here in the future? So I would just, you might be getting some type of message from an ex or you might see some type of like post. I don't know. There might be some situation where like maybe an ex-partner like a baby mama or baby daddy had some type of like their own situation in their life going on and it's like they maybe expect you to like come in. I don't know. It's, it's, it's giving weird. It's giving, trying to get your attention or trying to, maybe even poke at you. Cause I'm getting like, you know, when little kids it's like, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. And it's like annoyance. So Holy Spirit, can we shut that energy down? Okay. For the collective's love life in the near future, what is going on with it? What is going on? Why do you hold on? Oh my god, these cards are so hard for me to shuffle. But we got it, we got it. What is going on with the collective's love life coming up here in the near future, Holy Spirit? Angels, ancestors. Spirit guides of the collective are being my good help. Whoever's working in the collective's highest light for their highest good, help them come through for me so I can channel a message for them. Or even the person who is going to be their next love partner. 
which I guess we should say your soulmate because you're not about to settle for anything less. So let's get into it. Holy Spirit, please help me get a message here for the collective. Boy, Dios, hold on. Okay, the star. Some of you might be an air sign, Aquarius. Um, could be star. You could be you're the star like literally you might be um ooh, i don't want this energy holy spirit hold on let me light something because i'm just getting like someone being like oh like you think you're the center of attention or you think no hold on we're not doing this okay we're not doing this um but no you are literally someone who Back to that lyric, when you walk into the room, eyes fall to you. You know, like you are that person. It's like, even the way she's looking down, she's not focused on, you know, what's the people around here. If there's anyone around her, she's not focused on that. She's focused on doing her tasks. She's focused on healing. She's working with water. She's working, she's with nature. You know, she's pouring out that cup. Um, and there's also something here with, you might live next to the ocean or you might, connect with ocean or ocean spirits or something like that or you might um where's my lighter why'd i click my tongue are some of you watching um what's that scary movie called hereditary <laughs> i do not like that movie they're really scary i mean it was it was you know a good movie in terms of um oh my gosh you guys hold on i cannot find my lighter what did I do with it? Oh, you know what I did? Hold on. Okay, sorry. Let's see. So let's clear out any negative energy, Holy Spirit. So you kind of give this main character type of energy when you come into a room or you are that person that Okay, so say there's like a group of people who want to go out or do something, right? your your opinion holds weight to people around you so whoever you're going to be connected with in love like they look at you like you are the center of their universe you are oh i'm getting um you know the the north star it's like or like the second star to the right shine na -na 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 -na. I don't know, it's like you give this like whimsical feeling. This person feels like you are the light of their life or they will feel like the light. you are the light of their life. Um, so if you are not single and you're, you're in a relationship, your person thinks that you are absolutely stunning. You are, I don't know, it's like you might even have like this kind of mermaid quality about you or maybe you guys recently watched The Little Mermaid or went to the beach or something here. You give a very like watery vibe. So maybe you're either an air or water sign. Um, I mean, you could be, you could be a fire sign as well, but I feel like fire sign might be the X that you were dealing with. Ooh. Seven of wands. This is someone who's gonna be very protective over you. Um, and I think they also value how you are you might be a protective person of your privacy as well. There's something here where you are, you're not afraid to say what needs to be said, but I feel like you're very selective about, or you're very, 
you're very smart about what what you say when you speak who you're speaking to like your words hold weight your words hold weight to people so maybe you don't even um, talk that much maybe some of you relate a little bit to Daria I don't know why I was getting if you guys have ever seen that old show Daria um, where like maybe you kind of have like a blank face or you just have like RBF or I don't know it's kind of like you have like a dry wit dry humor to you um, that's because that's just for some of you I'm also drawn here with the flowers here so this person like you may smell very florally or Maybe they've commented before that you smell like a certain flower. Maybe this person will give you flowers or you will, um, I don't know. I'm even getting like meadow. No, your next partner might have like a beard. Might also be, I'm hearing Middle Eastern. Might also be um, from... Why was I, no, that's Brazil. Um, oh my God, why am I always forgetting? You know what I need to do? I need to get a little globe. Oh, I do have a globe, hold on, let's use it. Uh -huh. Ooh, this shit dusty, hold on. <laughs> Stop. I don't know. Maybe it's been a hot minute since you guys have been with someone um, in that way. You know what I mean? Um, maybe it's been a while since you traveled. Maybe you're going to meet this person while traveling. Let me see. Okay, that's in the middle of the ocean. So that's obviously not going to happen unless you're like out on a cruise. Maybe that's why I was getting like ocean vibes. Maybe you meet someone on a cruise. I don't know. Or maybe this person's name is Cruz. Um, oh, I got Iran. You can't even see. Hold on. Um, India. Kolkata. And Pakistan. Okay. Okay. So they might have roots there. They might have some ancestry there. Or maybe you guys have some ancestry there. Also, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce anything. Um, I'm a little bit, like I said, I'm not sober right now, okay? <laughs> Speaking of, let's take, hopefully, I hope you guys are not, won't, no, let me not say that. <laughs> this video is gonna be a mess, but whatever. <laughs> But you are gonna meet someone with really dark feature, like dark hair. Um, might be someone very melanin blessed. Might be dark features, you know. Um, could be someone who is very. I don't know. I just keep getting that they're very protective over you. You know what I mean? It's like. They're willing to fight for you. They want to fight for you. Or if you have your guards up, it's like they're willing to... You see how these images together... Ooh, my cards are falling. With these images together, it kind of almost looks like he's looking in her direction, right? Kind of looking in that direction. She's completely unaware. There's these wands around him, these barriers around him keeping him from physically getting to her, right? So it's like, there's something here where you have your guards up or you had your guard up if this is, if I'm talking about your partner here, it's like there's this connection here. It's like they're willing to bridge that gap. They're willing to fight. They're willing to put in the effort. They're willing to put in the work. It's like they want to work at this. They want to help you get these like walls down and help you feel safe in some aspect. You know what I mean? Not in some aspects, Spirit's correcting me. They wanna help you feel safe in all aspects. Cause I feel like there's different aspects of relationships that you've had really hard times with. Like there's been um, some trauma here. There's been some toxicity that you've had to deal with. 
What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know? Whoa. God, I hope you guys saw me that, do that. Um, Princess of Hearts, so Page of Cups. Okay, there's literally gonna be a love offer coming in. Look at that. Yo, hold on. This is gonna be someone who might send a message to you or maybe you receive some type of, I wanna say letter, but I mean, do people? I mean, I still write like handwritten letters to my mom and like a couple friends, but maybe this person is really into, I don't know, hand, like maybe calligraphy or you are into calligraphy or you do something with like, like pen pal, maybe you have pen pals or maybe you met someone long distance or you write them long distance or maybe they, um, maybe they are like kind of, maybe you guys are in different countries right now. Maybe that was why I was pointing to the water. Maybe there was like this, um, maybe you guys are just separate countries. Yeah, someone here is melanin blessed because I see like dark features, tan features. It's like very beautiful skin. It's like beard. Nine of hearts. Yo, you guys. This is going to be very like, this is going to be a, I feel like some of you guys are going to get a little bit scared or frightened from this. Um, because I feel like this is going to be so overwhelming, but like in a good way. It's almost like you're going to be surrounded by all this love that you never, I don't think you've ever experienced a relationship like this before. I really don't think you've ever experienced a relationship like this before at all. Um, or at least not a partner like this. You know what I mean? Like this is something that's... It's almost like you're going to be looking for things. You're going to be looking for red flags, like actively look. It's almost like you have like these binoculars up and it's like looking for red flags. It's like, I've been through this before. I'm not dealing with this again. It's like, you're not going to trick me. <laughs> That's the energy I get. But it's like, this person is, they see your walls up. They see your walls that they're going to, but they're, they're not backing down. It's like they want you. They want you. Okay, they want you. Okay, shit. <laughs> Ooh, Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So this is going to be a whole new cycle. This is going to be something completely new to what you've ever dealt with before. Um, let's get some more info. Let's get to know more about this person. What is this? Holy Spirit, what is the collective's person? What can you tell us about them? What can you... Mm. Okay. Seven of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. Wait, let me put a little... On her chichis again. <laughs> Hold on. Wait. I'll cover the nip knops. Okay. This person is gonna wanna put you to sleep. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But look at this. It's like this girl is she's she's asleep. Like, and he's caressing all over her, loving on her. So this is someone who's gonna like wanna. I feel like they might even like play with your hair when you're sleeping or just kind of like caress you or even with this like with the curly dark hair there's something here was like they got a hair curly dark hair or if they if they grow their hair out it curls um but it's almost like they have this there's gonna, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be straightforward, but it's almost like they're kind of like proud of getting you to that state. It's like they, when they get you to that release, they're gonna feel like, they're gonna feel a little bit pride. They're gonna feel a little bit proud, okay? <laughs> but this is gonna be slow moving. Look at this turtle here in the corner. So again, it's gonna be something that you're very, 
you have options and it's like you're gonna be looking at so many different aspects of this person and it's gonna take a while before you guys get to this before you get to a place where you feel like you want to give that type of energy away you know what I mean I don't know that's just kind of what it's giving me right here this could also be it doesn't have to be sexual it could just be in like a relationship so maybe if you guys do get together like um physically it's like almost it's gonna take longer it's gonna take a while for you guys to get to that relationship point um and if it's flip like if that doesn't resonate then flip it then it's going to be like you guys know that you guys are interested but it's going to take a while for you to get to that intimate um, that comfortability in being intimate you know what i mean um this person is going to like want to wine and dine you it's like they're very romantic look at the candles there they're gonna want this like they feel like you're a dessert okay also could be something here with um orchids the orchid flower but this person is it's like yeah they're gonna like admire you while you're i like when your eyes are closed or you're sleeping or maybe you're like if you're in that like kind of halfway state of you know dreaming and awake i don't know it's like they they're just it's like they're gonna admire you, admire your glow, admire that they got, it's like they're kind of a little bit cocky that they got you to have that like full release. They got your walls down and not in a sense where they feel like you're some type of prize or anything, but it's like they they feel proud that they could get you to open up and experience this type of sensation and love and all of this stuff that maybe you had like like i said it's like you hadn't felt before you haven't experienced before and it's like they just feel warm about the fact that they were the ones that could experience that with you or let have or to be the one that you experienced that with you know um, i'm trying not to say you know what i mean i keep i always say that when i'm smoking <laughs> i say it too much Ay, Dios. okay what else about this person the hermit okay so this is someone that might be they might have their eye on you already and it's like they kind of having these like daydreams or maybe even fantasies i don't know or they're manifesting you in some way could also be a virgo they could be an earth sign earth or water yeah Earth or water, Ace of Swords. So this person's all also gonna be um, a very honest and sincere person. Um, I think that's also something that they are gonna admire about you as well as how you are very genuine, how you are someone of your word. Like I said earlier, it's like this is someone who keeps their word. They believe like in vows. They believe, um, not to say that people don't believe in vows, but it's like they hold same as you it's like their words hold weight they know words are powerful you know words are powerful um so there's something here where it's like they appreciate and they really like that you are very honest so maybe if you are not a person of many words like maybe if you're not like so if you're like an introvert intro, bleh, an introvert <laughs> and maybe you're not like super social i don't know it's like they really appreciate like the conversations you guys have because i feel like once you i feel like once you get if you're not someone who talks like a lot with like people around you like maybe you don't talk like a lot at work or maybe you don't talk a lot when you go out into like social gatherings or something like that but it's like when you have your soul family when you have your your people around you like the people you're most comfortable with it's like i feel like you are someone who has like these very deep and long conversations like maybe you guys have like these very really like deep conversations i don't know there's something here and it's like they really like that they really love that like maybe you guys can talk at all hours of the night i don't know maybe you guys have like a lot of pillow talk so it's not even just about you know the the sex it's just also like 
you guys cuddling afterwards and having pillow talk. I don't know, like that is just as valuable to them as the physical, as the physicality of their relationship. Ooh, okay. What else, Holy Spirit, what else? How, cause like, how are you gonna meet this person though? Or how will you know, how, how will you know, how will the collective know this is their person, Holy Spirit? How will the collective know? Because it's like when you know, when you're going to, because it's going to be dependent on your all of your guys' individual like experiences and what you need. Because not everyone has the same needs, right? Not everyone has the same requirements or has the same boundaries or, you know, what have you. It's going to be different for everyone. I feel like Spirit's telling me that you guys are being guided. Both of you are being guided. I feel like you're being manifested. I you guys are gonna know it's you're gonna know how will they know they're gonna know <laughs> okay then um okay what what should i ask them spirit let me see how are you guys gonna meet okay how are you guys going to okay wait hold on Five of Swords. Okay, wait. Hold on. Nah. Spirit, clarify for me, please. Three of Pentacles. Not this other person coming in again. I am done with third party. Maybe for some of you, someone steps in during some type of conflict or fight or argument or something. I don't know. Maybe someone defends you over something. Like someone steps in or there's like a three-party situ. I don't know what this is. I don't want to talk about third-party situations. Holy Spirit, please. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait, 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 hold on. One more, one more. Holy Spirit, please, one more. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm, this person might have some family drama. I'm, I'm just gonna say that there might be some type of like family drama going on. Um, or they might come from like a strict background, like, or maybe they are religious. Like, I don't know, it's something here where, something with their family and strict. So I don't know what this means. Um, Cause you have the Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is like, you're still gonna have this like really strong, you guys might even become like, might work together like you guys might create something together um you guys might start a family together um if starting a family is not something on your mind then it's definitely you're gonna give birth to some type of idea excuse me but there is also something here oh <laughs> this this person probably likes um when you call them daddy or you know papi Something like that. I'm okay, okay. I don't, like, dudes. Okay, I'm just keep getting the image of like when you walk into the room, this person is like immediately like drawn to you. So if you like don't know who this person is, keep an eye on who is like immediately like looking at you when you come into a room. I don't know. It's like something here. It's like this person has their eye on you. I feel like for a lot of you, this is like something current. Like someone has their eye on you now. Like you are in, like this person's manifesting you. And it's like if they don't know you, per like if you haven't physically, I don't know. For some of you, if you don't know them, then it's going to be like when you, oh, okay. So for this person, this person might be very romantic. So I, I'm getting like they might be a water sign. I, they're very romantic. Um, they might believe in like love at first sight or maybe when they look at you for the first time, it's like 
I don't know, something happens or like their physic, like maybe their guides or something do something where it's like there might be some type of like physical, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is because it's giving like, there's like a physical reaction. There's literally like a physical reaction. Okay, you guys, stop. I'm not used to having your soulmates having like a fucking reaction, like a physical reaction to you guys. Okay. Oh, maybe some of you really, they, they like how you look and they have a physical reaction because yeah, <laughs> maybe you guys are dancing. I don't know. Something. Let's continue on. Okay, let's continue on. I might have to end this because I'm getting like a little bit, a little bit too. I don't, I hope, oh God, I hope I'm making sense. I hope this made sense. Final messages here. Holy Spirit, what's some advice for the collective on their love life? What is some advice for the collective on their love life? The Empress. Bitch, come on. Be for real. With the two lovebirds at the bottom. You're going to meet your soulmate, dude. You're Just stay in the energy that you're in right now. Literally stay in the energy that you're in. Continue to... Oh, I don't know why I thought the statue in the back was Archangel Michael. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> um, but, ooh, the seashell also. You guys, so, there's something here with the beach. Maybe you meet them at the beach. Um, but this is like after you've gone through some type of big transformation. You see the snake here in the back as well. So if you've gone through some big transformation here and these boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all the way. Okay, hold on. Wait, I'm getting like too many messages. Holy Spirit, reel me in, reel me in. Some of you might be having some like really, really cute red shoes or like these red boots. I don't know. Some of our boots are like red heels, red, red. I see red. Okay, um, but this is going to be after some type of like big transformative part of your life and it doesn't even have to be in that time period it could be after the process like you've done the healing from this situation so it's like after you've healed from this situation is what I'm getting okay um the last big tower moment of your life right it's like after you've really like gone through the work and like healed into the shadow work it's like this is when that person's going to be popping in. It's like, that's when you guys are going to be connecting. There's going to be this, like, you guys are drawn to each other. It's like, there's intersection. Like, there is no possible way you guys are not going to overlap. Like, there, you guys are going to cross paths at some point. Like, there's going to be, in the near future, you guys are going to cross paths. Okay? And this is for those of you who have never met. Okay? For the others of you if you do know this per well not if you know them but if they are in your life right now they like I said keep an eye out for who's like drawn to you every time you walk in a room or if like they're consistently like genuinely asking about you um I don't know it's like they hold eye con I don't know it's like maybe you there it's like you can tell through eye contact or something like if someone's being genuine or you I don't know Maybe they really like your eyes. Maybe they love when you you guys have eye contact. Or they want to have eye contact, like intense eye contact when you are together physically. This person also really wants to like take, when I say take care of you, they want to take care of you. Like they want to feed you. They want to like wine and dine you. They want to give you like the best of the best. Like they all, like you know you deserve the best. This person knows you deserve the best, okay? Yes! I love that for you guys. What the fuck? This person is going to be very... Um, I feel like... I feel like they're going to want to give you a lot of control in the bedroom. I feel like this is someone who might also really like when... I mean, you guys probably will switch... But there's going to be some type of like, they kind of like when you get 
Oh my gosh, going back to the Five of Swords. It's like they kind of like when you get a little like aggressive with them in that aspect. Um, they kind of like when you take control. Like even look at her. She's like taking over this guy, right? Okay. She's taking over. She's taking control over that shit. Um, even, even this image here, it's like she's above him, right? Like she's, he's leaning back. She's kind of towering over him, but he's lifting her up. He's lifting her above him, holding her, supporting her. And ooh, I'm even drawn to the heels in the back. <laughs> this might be someone who really likes to cook as well. Or because I'm seeing like the pots and pans here in the back. Or they have like certain recipes that they make that are like fucking divine. Um... I think this person also really likes your, um, if you practice any type of like craft or spirituality or any type of like, if you have like a set routine or something, I feel like they really like that. Like in the way that you pray or the way that you do spell work. I don't know. It's like something here. It's like they admire. You guys might be different in some aspect. There might be some differences here in um, beliefs. Not too much, I don't think. Or if it is, it's like there's a mutual respect and love still there. Like you guys, there's not a clash here, okay? Like you guys have, you guys are mature and um, aware enough to respect each other's um, beliefs and everything here. Yeah, I think they actually really like what you do or like what you, it's like they kind of like want to watch how you work. They kind of want to watch how you, how you do things. And I mean that in all aspects. They want to watch you, okay? I mean that they just, they want to, they want to like, they just admire you. It's like you're kind of like this like art piece that they just like, want to just admire and they want to like take care of and it's like almost like it's like if someone's like taking super like precautions over like a painting or something you know what I mean it's like it's that's what it's giving me but um okay oh my gosh 47 minutes we're gonna end this I hope this wasn't too all over the place also I just realized I didn't even cover <laughs> I only covered like a couple of these <laughs> GGs but okay that's it <laughs> i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your night or day wherever you're at and i hope um you have a beautiful weekend if you're watching this during the weekend if you're watching this in some other time i just hope you have a great rest of your day and stay safe stay healthy stay hydrated and i hope you're treated as you treat others <laughs>